Here inside the project API access settings, you'll find the endpoint to your API. If we open that and run a query, we'll get a not allowed error response. If we head back to the API access settings and scroll down to public, we'll notice there's a notice here that is telling us that the API is not accessible. We just discovered that when we tried to run a query, and this means anybody else that's trying to reach your endpoint to fetch data will not be able to. There are two ways around this. One is to enable public API permissions so anybody can access content without providing an API token. And the second is to create a token that is scoped to the particular permissions that you like. So the first thing that we'll do is what we'll do is we will enable content to be delivered from the stage draft. You can also choose to enable mutations, but be careful, this is public. So anybody that has access to this endpoint will then be able to mutate data inside of your GraphCMS project. I'm going to disable this and just allow people to query content. Now if we head back and we run the same query, you'll notice we now have that entry. If we also query the stage name, you'll see that we have the stage draft, and this is what this blog article is. Now if we go back and enable content from stage published as well, we can then specify what is the default stage in which content is delivered. So you can either set draft or published. I like to set published because I know that is what I want my end users to see. And if you want to fetch data, all you would need to do is pass inside of an argument what stage in which you want to fetch that data from. So if we head back and we click save, and then back inside of our endpoint, we'll run that same query. You'll notice I am fetching data from this, the draft stage. If we remove these arguments and run the same query, you'll see that the default output is from the stage published. I have custom content stages as well, so you can choose to deliver stages from any one of the stages you have configured in your project. In another video, we will explore creating a permanent auth token to access our API with public API permissions disabled.